we're going to go over how to perform the cable glute kickback. So this is a form of hip extension, just like a hip thrust or just like an RDL where the hip's going to move back behind the body and contract the gluteus maximus. So to do this exercise properly, you need to create stability. I like to have a hand on my cable apparatus. I like to have my abs crunched and my ribs down. The one thing you want to avoid is hyperextending as you kick your hip back. What you're going to find is you lose range of motion. You can't contract the glutes. So the core stays tight. You have stability. And then you kick back, extending the hip, trying to keep a pretty neutral lower back. This is really the key to doing this properly. You can always stand up a little taller on the cable machine, depending on what you're working with. Maybe you're at a gym and you have the dual cables that are far apart, or you have this. But the key is contract that glute max, really flex it hard, try to stay neutral and not hyperextend through the back.